Hi guys! Last year on our wedding day, our dog Loa was supposed to be in the wedding, but unfortunately some family was staying at my parents' house. And I feel like when it comes to the wedding day, a lot of people are loading up the car or running errands, stuff like that. Basically, someone went out to run an errand. She just happened to slip out the door. She gets really excited when the door gets opened. She loves going out on car rides and stuff like that. So she ran outside. A lot was going on and I wasn't there. I was already getting ready at the venue. Someone picked her up and took her. My parents immediately, when they noticed she was gone, they started looking to find her and they printed off posters with a reward and they immediately started looking for her. Thankfully, we got her back. It was a few days later. I was already gone on my honeymoon. I remember I was literally like on our flight to our honeymoon searching for dogs and local shelters. And I was looking on other websites, seeing if she, like she had been turned in. It was like, am I even going to be able to enjoy our honeymoon, my wedding? But thankfully, she was found, I think, the first day or the second day of our honeymoon. But I was like so relieved. It was a really scary thing because Lola is my baby. I've had her since I was 13. She's just like my dog, you know? Here's Lola. Mm, Lola the pug. She had a matching dress to mine. She was supposed to walk down the aisle. But yeah, I'm so thankful that we have her back. It's a little over a year later. A month after our wedding, I just happened to find this post from our local shelter. It just like happened to pop up on Facebook, which I, I hardly ever get on Facebook anymore, but I just like happened to get on there randomly. And it was the first post. It was this pug that had been dropped off that day. I was like, oh, I wanna go check it out. We went there, we had to wait three days, and on the third day, we went back to the shelter, we brought Lola. They were like, yeah, you can adopt him. So, that day, we adopted Wilbur. Wilbur the pug. We named him Wilbur like the pig from Charlotte's Web. He has been such a blessing. I don't think it's a coincidence that we adopted him exactly a month after our wedding because we found Lola and then we got him. He just fits perfectly into our family. So it's a little bit over a year later. Today we are going to be taking pictures with Lola and Wilbur. I'm gonna put on my wedding dress and Brandon's gonna put on his tuxedo. Lola's custom wedding dress and in Wilbur's tuxedo. I want to do this before I get my wedding dress preserved. I have yet to do that. I'm going to do it probably this month. I only took a few pictures with Lola during my bridal portraits. I was planning to take a lot more on the wedding day, but Lola wasn't there during the wedding day, obviously, and I was going to take a lot of her walking down the aisle, you know, everything like that. Obviously, it just didn't happen because she was missing. I am really excited because I just feel like everything worked out perfectly because now we have Wilbur and he can wear a little tuxedo. It'll be even cuter. We would have done it sooner, but we just have been so busy, but it's perfect now because I feel like we'll be able to do this and then immediately after I'll get my dress preserved. So it's kind of the last time I'll be able to wear my dress. I put on my dress on our one year anniversary to surprise Brandon and now I'm putting it on one last time and then and who knows when I'll put it on again. I'm just gonna film a little bit behind the scenes today so y'all can see. I'm excited. I think it'll be really cute. I'm glad that we're doing this. I know it sounds cheesy, but like I said, Lola is my baby girl. I feel like she's just gone through so many stages of life with me. Middle school, high school, college, marriage, hopefully when I have kids also. And then we got Wilbur when we first got married. So I feel like it's just perfect. So that's kind of the idea of it. You can laugh if you want, or you can smile and think it's cute. I don't really care. But that's what we're doing today. And I thought I would just film it and vlog for the memes. Let's get into it. <laughs>
go get some pop cops because the dogs did really well at the photo shoot and riding in the car so they deserve them Wilbur. they're panting because they got a little bit excited but they are calming down now we usually don't let them have pup cups because they kind of follow a strict diet but today is an exception because they did really well at the photo shoot and in the car and everything like that so they're getting a little pup cup we're gonna go through the drive-thru i'm gonna get myself a coffee and some pup cups they're so cute they put bones in them you want a pup cup pup cup look It's kind of hard to reach. Here. Here, let's put it on a plate. Lola couldn't reach hers, so I had to put it on a plate. <gasps> Nana, you like it? I don't know if Wilbur can reach his either. <laughs> it's so hard when they don't have long noses. Wilbur, Wilbur, are you stuck? Oh, he's made a little bit of progress. Nana found a bone, Nana. Good girl. Did you find the bone? Let me see your chin. Oh, chin? Oh, wow. We are done taking the pictures now. The pugs really enjoy their pup cups. Shout out to my mom for taking the time to take these pictures. She is amazing and I appreciate her so much. If you're watching this, then I love you. And thank you, Brandon, for doing this. I know he puts up with a lot, but I am really happy that we did this. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had fun watching. Bye. <laughs>